Emma Laurent is a fire tank unit which excels at breaking break gauges from bosses and dealing a lot of damage while at the same time inflicting a burn debuff to the enemy as well as buffing your team. Emma's basic skills burn up and flame cleave both have break effects and deal additional 10% damage by targets who are inflicted with the burn debuff. It's important to know to make use of the additional 10% damage. You either have to use her QTE skill which inflicts the debuff of burn or her core attack. This way you can maximize the uses of her basic skills. To fully understand how Emma works we have to take a look at her passive abilities. Emma has two passive abilities, the heat absorption and the heat emission. The heat emission gets triggered by using her basic skill flame cleave while heat absorption is active. The way to gain heat absorption stacks which she can rack up to 15 stacks which increases her defense by 7.7% recovers HP by 7.7% and at 15 stacks it applies a shield by 7.7% of the user's max HP. The condition to stack up the heat absorption is by using her skills the burn up the flame judgment or extreme evasion which gives her four uh, four stacks in total while using her ultimate skill gives her another 10 stacks. Heat emission on the other hand at 5 stacks gives you defense penetration by 7.7%. At, at 10 stacks it increases the fire damage by 7.7% and at 15 stacks the heat emission effect applies to the team members as well. The way it works is to simply rack up Emma's heat absorption stacks by using her burn up skill, QTE and her ultimate skill as well as perfect dodging, getting up to 15 stacks. And after you get to 15 stacks, you wanna use her flame cleave basic skill to convert her heat absorption into heat emission to deal as much damage as you possibly can. Emma's ultimate skill, Burning Pride, deals a lot of damage and has two unique uh, abilities. While heat absorption is active, the damage of Burning Pride is actually reduced by 33%, but it will refund 50% of your power gauge and cooldown time. That means your cooldown from 45 seconds will go down to 27 seconds. While the heat emission is active, this skill's damage increases by 77%. For Emma's gear and accessory, I have two recommendations each. First, for the gear, you either wanna run the solid analysis set, which increases the damage dealt to your enemies in the break state by 15%, as well as increases the break effect by 30%. Alternatively, you wanna run the one hit kill set as a four piece set, because it will increase your ultimate skill damage by 25%, and as well decreases the ultimate skill cooldown by 40 seconds which allows you to spam your ultimate skill quite often. If you combine it with the heat absorption effect, you can cut that cooldown down to 15 seconds. For the accessory, we have two different options. We either can use the behemoth set, which allows you when the boss is below or the target is below 70% of their HP, gives you a permanent damage increase of 20%. It's one of the most consistent accessory sets you want to run because there's literally no other condition than getting the enemy below 70%. The alternative set for Emma is the very distant set at a 4 piece set which reduces the cooldown time by 18% and as well increases the damage output by 18% of her normal skills. This way it allows you to rack up your heat absorption stacks quite fast to allow to convert it faster at the maximum stack to heat admission to apply the effect to your whole party. When it comes to the main stats you're looking for, for the helm piece you want to focus on HP percentages, for the boots you want to have defense penetration and for the gear pieces you definitely want to have fire damage percentage up and for the second ring you want to have HP percentage. The substats you want to focus on when using ammo are HP percentage, additional HP, defense penetration and damage increase. She doesn't really need the critical rate and the critical 
hit damage because she racks her damage up based on her HP and her defense penetration. This way it allows her to deal consistent damage and work as a breaker. When it comes to weapons, you either want to run her SSR exclusive weapon, the Night Thoughts, which is probably the best option for her. If you don't have the weapon, the second best option is the Grimoire, which allows you to get an additional power gauge acquisition rate up to 32% when you have it at Ascension 5. This sums up everything you need to know about Emma Laurent. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. It helps out and I see you with the next guide. Deuces.